Good afternoon and welcome to the Daily Office and thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Tuesday, June the 19th. It's the week of the fourth Sunday after Pentecost at week five in the Psalm Cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 78, verses 40 to 55, and Numbers chapter 11, verse 1 to 23. Now join me in singing verse 5 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts. You rule by your resistless might, will rebel mortals dare, provoke the eternal to the fight, and tempt that dreadful war. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. How often they provoked you in the wilderness and grieved you in the desert. Alleluia. Psalm 78, and please recite it with me. Alleluia. How often they provoked you in the wilderness and grieved you in the desert. They turned back and tempted you and provoked the Holy One of Israel. They did not remember your strength, nor the day when you delivered them from the enemy, how you had wrought signs in Egypt and wonders in the fields of Zoan. You turned your rivers into blood that they could not drink, and you sent all sorts of flies among them, which devoured them, and frogs which destroyed them. And you also gave their crops to the caterpillar, and their labor to the locust. You destroyed their vines with hail, and their sycamores with frost. You gave up their cattle to the hail, and their flocks to hot thunderbolts. You cast on them the fierceness of your anger, wrath, indignation, and trouble, by sending a troop of evil angels among them. You gave free course to your anger, and did not spare their lives from death, but gave them over to the pestilence. You struck down all the firstborn in Egypt, the finest flower in the tabernacles of Ham, but made your own people go forth like sheep, and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. And you led them in safety, so that they were not afraid, but the sea overwhelmed their enemies. And you brought them to the border of your holy land, even to this mountain which your right hand had purchased. And you cast out the heathen before them, and divided the land for their inheritance, and made the tribes of Israel to dwell in their tents. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, how often they provoked you in the wilderness and grieved you in the desert. Alleluia. A reading from the Numbers, chapter 11, beginning at verse 1. Now when the people complained in the hearing of the Most High about their misfortunes, the Most High heard it, and his anger was kindled. Then the fire of the Most High burned against them, and consumed some outlying parts of the camp. But the people cried out to Moses, and Moses prayed to Yahweh, and the fire abated. And so that place was called Taborah, because of the fire of Yahweh burned against them. The rabble among them had a strong craving, and the Israelites also wept again and said, If only we had meat to eat. We remember the fish we used to eat in Egypt for nothing, the cucumbers, the melons, the leeks, the onions, and the garlic. But now our strength is dried up, and there is nothing at all but this manna to look at. Now the manna was like coriander seed, and its color was like the color of gum resin. The people went around and gathered it, ground it in mills, or beat it in mortars, then boiled it in pots and made cakes of it. And the taste of it was like the taste of cakes baked with oil. When the dew fell on the camp in the night, the manna would fall with it. Moses heard the people weeping throughout their families. 
all at the entrances of their tents. And then Yahweh became very angry, and Moses was displeased. So Moses said to the Most High, Why have you treated your servants so badly? Why have I not found favor in your sight, that you lay the burden of all this people on me? Did I conceive all this people? Did I give birth to them? That you should say to me, Carry them in your bosom, as a nurse carries a sucking child, to the land that you promised on oath to give their ancestors. Where am I to get meat to give all to all these people? For they come weeping to me and say, Give us meat to eat. I am not able to carry all this people alone, for they are too heavy for me. If this is the way you are going to treat me, put me to death at once. If I have found favor in your sight, and do not let me see my misery. And so Yahweh said to Moses, Gather for me seventy of the elders of Israel, whom you know to be the elders of the people, and officers over them. Bring them to the tent of meeting, and have them take their place there with you. I will come down and talk with you there, and I will take some of the spirit that is on you, and put it on them, and they shall bear the burden of the people along with you, so that you will not bear it all by yourself. And say to the people, Consecrate yourselves for tomorrow, and you shall eat meat. For you have wailed in the hearing of Yahweh, saying, If only we had meat to eat, surely it was better for us in Egypt. And therefore the Most High will give you meat, and you shall eat. You shall eat not only one day, or two days, or five days, or ten days, or twenty days, but for a whole month, until it comes out of your nostrils and becomes loathsome to you, because you have rejected the Most High who is among you, and have wailed before him, saying, Why did we ever leave Egypt? But Moses said, The people I am with number six hundred thousand on foot, and you say, I will give them meat that they may eat for a whole month. Are there enough flocks and herds to slaughter for them? Are there enough fish in the sea to catch for them? And Yahweh said to Moses, Is my power limited? Now you shall see whether my word will come true for you or not. Here ends the lesson. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to sing. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. Guide us to your eternal dominion, O Shepherd of Israel, for only in you can we live in safety. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.